Hi, my name is Brian Ali. Today we're going to talk about the relationship between temperature and humidity in the operating room. As ASHE members, it's important for us to understand the importance of providing a safe environment for our patients to heal, a comfortable environment for our physicians to work, but also uphold our codes and standards to operate our facilities. Without further ado, I'm going to hand it off to my friend Bill Payne, and he's going to do a demonstration on temperature and humidity. Thank you, Ryan. So today's demonstration is really to try to get an even playing field where our hospital engineers, our physicians, and our other clinical staff will all understand the relationship between temperature and humidity. So what we have here are just beakers, but the beakers represent how much fluid, how much liquid air can hold at a given temperature. So this beaker right here is a 90 degree beaker. So that means that when it's 90 degrees outside, and if it were full, that would be 100% relative humidity. I've put red lines to represent 60% and blue lines to represent 30%. These numbers are important to us because our guidelines try to keep us the OR temperature and humidity between these lines. So this is a 90 degree, and as we get cooler, the beakers get shorter. So here's a 65 degree uh, amount of air. So this is, so you can see there's a, quite a bit of difference in the liquid that a, a 90 degree air can hold versus 65 degree air. So that's the beakers. But let's talk about the air handlers that serve this room. So if we look at the hot summer day chart, so we take about 20% of the outside air, when we take 80% of the air that's in this room and we mix it together, we run it back through the air handler where it's chilled. So there's a gigantic cooling coil in there that has 42 degree water entering that coil and this air passes over it. When it comes out the other side, it'll be pretty much 48 degree air. And then it comes back into this room where it's heated from, your, from this work, from the lights and returns back to cycle over again. So if I take these two concepts and bring them together, we can do that by looking at the beakers. So our outside air, we said was 90 degrees and 60% relative humidity. That would be a really hot and muggy day. But so if we fill this up to this red line, That is how much moisture is in the air outside. What's in this room, when it gets back to the air handler, is roughly 70 degrees. And we believe it'll be about 40% relative humidity. So we could fill that up to about, let's say right there. These two, as we mentioned, this is outside air and this is return air. They get mixed together and they will create 74 degree air and 52% humidity. So let me pour that in there. So that's about that right. So 74 degrees and this air is going to go through our air handler. When it reaches this coil that has 42 degree water running through it, it's gonna come out at 48 degrees. So if I take this 48 degree beaker pour our liquid in there, it, sp it spills over the top. That's called condensate. If you were outside, you'd call that rain. So this air now leaves the air handler and it's gonna warm up on its way here to this OR. And it's gonna enter our OR and our OR is gonna be, let's just say it's 65 degrees. So our 65 degree room has less than 60% relative humidity, which means the doctors are happy, the nurses are happy, and we're happy because we are within compliance. The problem comes when we try to make the room go to 60 degrees. So I take the same amount of moisture and I put it in the smaller beaker, which represents the 60 degree room. I am now over the top. I, we are above our 60% line, which means our infection preventionist 
will not be happy with us. So that represents how an operating room works in the summertime. All right, so let's, let's, let's talk about what happens in the wintertime when it's cold. In my part of the country, it might get down to 32 degrees, which means this beaker would be, is all the, all the moisture it can possibly hold at 32. So we take the outside air, 20% outside air, 80% back from this room, we will end up with about 48 degree air coming into our air handler with 28% humidity, which means it's gonna be a little below that blue line. When this air goes through our air handler, we're not gonna cool it. We have to add humidity because what we're really after is a 65 degree room and being closer to 40% humidity. So when I pour this in there, you can see that we have a lot to make up. So we'll make that up using the steam humidifiers. So this room will get, be 65 degrees and 35 to 40% relative humidity. So to recap, there's a couple of things I would like for you to remember. One is, our, as a hospital engineer, we are committed to the safety of the patients and the comfort of the staff. And we can do that within the parameters of our own building. This demonstration showed the relationship between temperature and humidity. And the reason why we wanted to explain this is because we are held as engineers to keep this room between the 60% relative humidity line and the 30% relative humidity line. And if the, we change the temperature, the humidity will change as well. Thank you.